my goodness. I'm hoping things are going smoothly. I made the mistake when I had the streaming software open of trying to open my video editing software because I was like, okay, I have, oh, I was finishing up a Die Pop PS video and I'm like, oh, I don't have the timestamp for one of the chapters. I should go back into the file and look at that. And then it made my computer be like, hey, hey. <laughs> Plus it wasn't plugged in properly. It was just so many things that the frame rate was slow. So hopefully things are better. It's looking better on my end. And I'm just going to check. Die Pop PS video. And I'm like, oh, I don't. Nice, nice. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to pop out the chat. Uh, I am getting, I was a minute late because I got a phone call because I am having an eye appointment tomorrow. Uh, that's hopefully going to figure out what's going on with one of my eyes and hopefully everything is fine. <laughs> but my vision is blurry in one eye. <laughs> but that's not what we're here to talk about today. Today we are going to be unboxing. We've got the October 2022 Knit Crate. Um, we've got the Knit and Crochet Club and the Sock Knit and Crochet Club. We have our Paradise Fiber subscription, which is looking very fall themed from the package. And we have a box from Derma. Um, now, of all of these, Paradise Fibers and Knit Crate send me their monthly clubs for free um, so I can unbox and share them and share my thoughts and opinions. The Dharma box I'm going to open up, I purchased dyes. I, and I'll tell a little story about this in a moment, but they, and the story about how this came up, but they gave me some presents um, and I don't know what those are. So we're going to see that um, as well. Uh, I figured I may as well unbox it. Um, and so everything is here and I'm really, really excited. Um, do I teach dyeing and spinning? I do. Um, spinning, not as much. Uh, I have a few spinning vlogs. I am like maybe intermediate, low intermediate spinner um, technique wise. Uh, but I have hundreds and hundreds of yarn and fiber dyeing videos here on my channel. And so that's the main thing that I do is dye yarn. Um, but I do also have an Etsy shop, Chemnitz Creations, where uh, my hand dyed yarn is featured. That's right. I just had a shop update um, like half an hour ago. So there's a lot of new yarn, including the Hocus Pocus inspired yarn. Um, and there's more Chemnitz Hanukkah yarn samplers. But I'll talk about all of this <laughs> throughout our unboxing. So welcome. Oh, BJ Chadwick, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you so much. Now, I set up the camera a little funny because I have a feeling we may have someone who sneaks in over there. And uh, rather than just me talking to him mostly off camera, uh, some of you may know, uh, and I'm going to pop his emote into the chat, uh, know what I'm talking about. But he tend my dog tends to know when I'm streaming. And so always an option will come check it out. Unless he's in his crate. I don't think he's in his crate. I'm trying to remember if he was barking recently. <laughs> But anyway, all right, let's um, let's get into it. Um, so we're going to start with the Paradise Fibers Fiber of the Month Club. Now, this usually arrives a bit earlier in the month. Uh, lately, I've been having trouble scheduling. <gasps> OK, I immediately in here see like a deep teal orange and maybe a brown or like a russet red. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is huge. This is a lot of fiber. It looks like we've got something. Sometimes I wait and like pull out the fiber in a minute, but this is beautiful. Okay, it's looking. Ooh. It's like a ball. There's a lot. Okay, so this looks like this is different. We haven't had something like this in a while. A lot of the Paradise Fibers um, Fiber Club Fiber <laughs> comes as either something that's been blended, maybe on like a drum carter or something. So like fibers blended together, or we get natural fibers or things that maybe sometimes are solid. But this one looks more hand painted um, because you can see our the color. I'm sure that we could figure out a way to line this up at some point to get the color repeat. Uh, that we have here, 
but it's beautiful. There's like an apple green, a golden yellow, orange, teal, sort of like a Cabernet burgundy color. Um, yeah, it's, it's very, very pretty and fun. And there's a lot of it. So this is, this is pretty thin. So I think it would be easy to draft and to get small sections of color with your spinning. But let's learn more about it. That's really fun. Okay, our theme today is happy fall, y'all. <laughs> this is the theme for the October 2022. Um, it's Space Dyed Wool Neptune. Um, there's about eight ounces of it. Uh, so the club does come with six to eight ounces of fiber. This is, this is a big one. Um, all right, let's look at the extras before I read about them. Ooh. Oh, but look at this picture of how it could spin up. It's beautiful. It is very much like a fall rainbow. Okay, we've got, oh, it's just a pamphlet about soak. So I'm going to guess that there's going to be some soak in here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, we've got a little bag with a little organza window. Oh, we have a caramel, probably caramel. Uh, there's usually a pun, but we've got a caramel apple at Eunice. Let's see what they named her. Yes, Kara Mule, apple vinyl stitch, uh, sheep sticker. We've got a, van I think it's um, some soak. This is a wild mint scent. Mint isn't a scent that I mind much usually. I tend to be sensitive to scents. Um, cinnamon vanilla stash tea. This would have been a good opportunity for apple, but maybe we had apple last year. Ooh, fun. Okay. And then we've got these like lacy leaf progress keepers, but they're in like silver, brass, and gold color on a silver and gold colored, um, bulb pin. Now I have a feeling, yes, these fail my progress keeper test. So when I have a charm on a bulb pin, I like to put it on a jump ring so that way it'll hang at the bottom of the bulb pin. Because a lot of times when I'm using these, the big bulb part is what stays on the needle. And so I like the charm to not stick out like that. Um, but it would be really easy to go and put a jump ring on it. This is just my personal preference um, of the way I like charms to hang when I'm knitting. So these, these, but the, the leaf pattern in here is lacy and adorable. I, I love, I love, um, charms. Okay. So that is what is in here, but this is so, so fun. I mean, they do occasionally do space dyed stuff. This is the kind of thing that must, would be a lot more like what I could create at home. Uh, something that is space dyed like this, something that is blended like they have sometimes. I'm assuming those involve ha starting with solid colored fiber and then blending it together. And that without some kind of blending board or something would be a lot harder for someone like me to achieve at home. And so one of the things I really enjoy about this club is that there's a variety of a big variety of different types of, not just types of fiber in itself and whether it is a cellulose fiber, a, a animal-based fiber or something that is more synthetic. There's a wide variety of blends there, but the way that the colors are combined varies a lot as well. So then you can play around with different spinning techniques. And so I think that this is a very beginner friendly subscription. And let me just show where is, here we go. All right, and the Fiber Club starts at $34.99 a month. I believe that there are ways, yeah, I think that you can gift subscriptions so you can have like a three month or nine month subscription. Uh, I don't know about the savings for that, but it is um, $34.99 within the continental US. It gets a little bit more expensive if you're further away or international. Uh, but there are international options available and these prices do include shipping. So, uh, it is, it is fun. And I'm glad to see like Eunice back. Did we, I feel like Eunice was missing at one point. Um, but, oh, and there's also a picture in here 
of a way and with like a project idea of how yarn spun with this might work up. It's very beautiful. This blend of colors is amazing. And so you can get variegated yarn um, out of something that is blended versus space dyed. Um, and, but it might look a little more heathered. It, it just depends because uh, the fun thing with spinning is that, you know, if you take five spinners, give them the exact same fiber, uh, it's gonna, the yarn is gonna look wildly different, which is one of my favorite parts of spinning. Okay, let's put you over here. I wanna store this back in the, in the thing. Do, do, do. Uh oh. I want to make sure I can see. All right, we're going to do knit crate next. I love a big ball of fiber. Okay, my bag. My bag. And these huge organza bags are fun too. I save all of the little bags uh, from Paradise Fibers and then sometimes we use them uh, for gifts. Okay, what I'm doing now is trying to determine which one feels heavier. I think this one is heavier. Um, because that that would be the knit and crochet club. All right, let's see. Ooh. Ah. Okay. Pop dreams. Um, the music is thumping, lights are flashing, and you're ready to dance all night long. Cute. All right. So I got. Um, a dusty, like lavender, I guess it's called coquette. Um, it's 65% superwash merino, 35% surrey alpaca, worsted weight. This is really, really soft. Uh, on camera, it's looking a little bit more blue. I would say it's got a, like, it's almost, it's not brown, certainly, but a little bit brown leaning. It is definitely more pink than what I'm seeing on screen right now. Um, it is unbelievably soft. It's a beautiful, beautiful color, very neutral feeling. Um, I mean, it definitely like fits in with the colors that you see on here. I just, you know, this doesn't make me think about dancing all night long. This makes me think of having warm tea and cozying up in bed. I'll, I'll be honest. Um, and as an extra, we got some scentless soak. Uh, sometimes I can be really critical of the Knit Crate Extras. This, I think, is a really, really good one. Um, it's useful, um, and yeah, I, I'm really happy to have this, and I will, not that I wash things that I knit that often, but I'll use this, <laughs> and I like scentless. Uh, and so that's something that's, like, really useful to put in. Um, sometimes, like, there's a lot of things that are fun, but I love when there's, like, tools or stitch markers or, yeah, things that feel like, it wasn't necessarily an afterthought or something that they made just so they could put something in there. Oh, I love, they, they have um, a measuring tape that I loved because that just went straight into my notions thing. Most of the unboxings was the dark purple. Um, yeah, let's, let me pull up the Inspirations magazine, but I'm going to do this where you can't see me typing. And one thing I like is that you can download things directly to your Ravelry store, um, or you can download it to your computer if you don't slash can't use Ravelry. Okay. Here we go. So cute. The theme and inspiration. You know, a colorway here with like the gold teal and that purple and white would be lovely. I would love to see that. Um, uh, yeah, Caitlin, I'm for gifting for my kids and stuff where I'm using more reusable fabric bags and stuff because, well, it's easier to wrap. <laughs> but I used to love like playing with lots of wrapping paper and it just started to feel wasteful. So. All right, so this month's party yarn. There's Dance Party, which is sort of like a burgundy-ish purple. It's the purple, not quite the purple that's on the paintbrush. Um, 
there's this beautiful deep teal and then the color that I got. And so you can see how on camera here it's feeling more blue. The color on screen is much more accurate, which if I had to guess, this is probably the chill out. This is the whatever the warm toned one is. And this is the neutral one. Um, I would have adored, adored to have. Um, Uh, you're still waiting on your quarterly crate because it's a beautiful color and hope it comes soon. Oh, fun. Um, is it the, the Malabrigo one, the quarterly one? There's also another quarterly knit crate. Um, I've never had those ones. Uh, but yeah, I, I feel like the, the colors are pretty. I don't know how well they work with the inspiration, but let's look at the patterns. Yeah, Dance Party is a really pretty color. Oh, okay, we'll open that in a second. All right, looks like we've got... Ooh, some crochet mitts, or are they mittens? Okay, grape soda mitts. So they must be open at the top. And um, the X Factor cowl, which looks like it's nice and big so that you can almost wear as like a shawlette or something. That's cute and a different like pattern that we've had in a while. Oh, there it is in the, in the cowl form. That's cute. I kind of like it as a cape. I think the mitts, is there another good picture? I'm trying to like, both not show the pattern. Oh, they are, they're, they're full on mittens. I'm, I suppose you could turn them into fingerless mitts too. When I hear mitts, I think of um, fingerless, but I guess it didn't say fingerless. So uh, yeah, there's that. Um, it's very, it's a pretty, pretty color. And actually this color shows up a stitch pattern so nicely. Uh, the deeper colors probably would as well, but I think that like a paler color shows up complex stitches really, really well. But yeah, I I do know that they are working. I think on bringing more variety and variegated yarns and stuff. And there's a limit to what like a mill can do that's different from what hand dyers can do. And so like I see this and I'm like, ooh, I want to like splash the colors on and have something wild and variegated. Uh, and like, I mean, not that these are the same colors, but you know, like something like this. I would love to see something that feels like you feel the party in the yarn. Um, but that kind of technique that is really a small batch technique is harder, I think, for um, like a mill or someone to produce. All right, let's look at the sock yarn, even though we've had a little spoiler looking at our magazine. Maybe I need to remember to open both of them first. Doo -doo -doo. So with your subscription, you get um, two knitting pat a knitting pattern and a crochet pattern for either subscription you get all of them if you're in either one and we have more soak this is wild mint <laughs> there's a theme i like the unscented better but again soak is a great extra um and we've got a variegated yarn i am thrilled i am so happy um this is the color this is color is called afterglow it is 75 percent superwash wool 10 percent cashmere 15 percent nylon and it's got sort of like um, like a, almost a tangelo orange, uh, a pink, a blue, and um, sort of this lavender color. Let's open it up. I would have loved, I think this is really, really pretty. I like that the color sections are short. This is a different kind of like color combination and pattern from what we sometimes see. Let me see if I can find, there we go. I'm like trying to find the like as it was dyed kind of way. But this is a different like repeat pattern than we sometimes see with Knit Crate. And so I like that these color sections are small. Um, I like the way the repeats are. And I think that this is really pretty. And I would love, I wish it hadn't been spoiled if I hadn't noticed it on, well, first the back of the card here that I was like, oh, it's variegated. And if I hadn't like seen it in the Inspirations magazine, I probably would have gasped and partied because I've been begging for more variegated yarn. Um, I think that like in the beginning days of Knit Crate, you never knew if it was going to be a solid variegated speckled. Um, there was a lot of variation there. And so it made the unboxing and not knowing what's inside uh, just more exciting. 
Um, let's see. I want to go back to the mood board. Okay. I think I wish we had more of the teal and this pink. This is me being very, very picky. <laughs> I should be excited we have a variegated yard and not be so picky. Um, I think that this like goes really, really well with the mood board. Um, I think that there's some elements in the, the like pinky purple that are there and actually on screen it's looking great. I just would have loved if the blue was more of the teal. Um, I think that like, I think that then I would look at this, look at this mood board and be like, nailed it. Um, <laughs> whereas I look at this and I think that it is a gorgeous color combination. I think it's fun. And I want to look at the socks. I love that they photographed it with a little swatch behind it. Okay. And so then the socks, Ooh, this looks like the knit socks look like there's something fun going on. Where's my zoom? Oh, here we go. Yeah, see those crossed stitches? That is such a fun, fun thing to do with a variegated yarn. It's such a fun way to really like highlight some of that variation and still show up like a stitch pattern and have it visible without a wild colorway overwhelming it. I think that this is adorable. What is this? The Strobe Socks by Ruth Brash. Um, I think that that is really really fun I'm like here we go here's another picture of them so cute um and i love doing like you probably do this with like multiple yarn overs and then dropping them off the needle that's a technique and a stitch that i love oh <laughs> wrong wrong way wrong way um but yeah actually this is pretty much all of the other colors that they created almost combined plus some orange uh this gray is a little bit more gray than the lavender you can see that like it's got a little bit less pink to it um so it's probably not the exact same dyes but it's close um and so i'm excited and this is also unbelievably soft and it feels like it feels like it won't pill but i mean i don't know i can't guarantee it won't pill it just feels really really nice so I think that like, this is a color that is, yeah, as we say, it's pretty, it's a, ha it's a tad boring. Um, but I like start deeper, saturated, more bright colors. So that is my personal preference. You can pick your color vibe. Um, and so there, and they do do a reveal of the colorways before they ship them out. So that way you can swap the color that you're going to get or skip the current month. Yeah, it's definitely in person. There's, it's, it's more of a gray than blue, but my, my color balance is off. Uh, but yeah, you can learn more and I do have affiliate links to knit crate and paradise fibers down in my video description. You can learn more about all of these subscriptions there and the knit crate pricing sometimes changes. So check out their website for the most up-to-date information. But the one nice thing is they do have a waiting list. So if, um, if one of the crates that you want isn't available right now, you can sign up to be on the waiting list. So that way when a spot opens up, usually um, around the beginning of the month, then uh, then you can get um, signed up. But now I'm going to open up my Dharma box, which this is the size of the box. So the box isn't huge, but I ordered, let me start with my story. And so this, I have no financial stake with Dharma training company. Um, but this is so funny. Um, so I was filming, which video was it? Oh, I was filming a Hanukkah video and I realized I might not have enough of a color to finish the amount of yarn I was dying. I miscalculated because I did my ratios even based on like the amount of dye I was measuring out each time was for one skein instead of two. I had plenty, but I figured I should order more of this color. And on the outside of my dye notebook, I always have a post-it with colors I'm running low on, colors I need more of, and I had some of those colors in my um, cart already. And so I went and I ordered my dyes, but because some things were already in my cart on Dharma that were no longer available, the system let me order them 
when right now it wouldn't let you add it to the cart in the first place. So one of the colors I ordered, which wasn't the one that I needed the most or anything, but one of the colors I ordered um, was out of stock. So I get a phone call from Dharma and I think that this is great customer service, which is a big reason why I want to share this story. But they called and said, hey, we're so sorry, this color is out of stock. Is there another color that you would like to, sub to substitute or um, do you want to cancel your order? Because, you know, they were checking to make sure it wasn't the thing from the order that I needed the most, um, which I thought was really, really kind instead of just shipping out the order. Because if Pink Orchid was the color that I needed and was the color I was waiting on and like I placed the rest of the order because, OK, I don't want to order just one thing. I would have been sad if my order showed up without it, but I thought it was great that they called. And so then, you know, I'm thanking them for that. And they're like, hey, by the way, we love your videos. Oh, no, no. Wait, OK, I'm telling this wrong. <laughs> Okay, so they were, they're on the phone, I thank them, and they're like, oh, and we threw in um, some extra gifts. And I, was, I remember feeling like, wow. I mean, I know things have been out of stock from other people, but I've never heard of them giving free stuff because something was out of stock. And I was like, oh, wow, that's very generous. Then they said, oh, we love your videos. And so I'm like, oh, okay. So I don't know what they've sent me. Um, I think the line I am on the order split get order slip was like gift for like YouTube dyer or something. So I don't know what they sent me, but it was really, really cool that they know who I am. And I mean, they've shared some of my videos on social media and stuff before, but I don't know. There's a difference between that and them then recognizing my like business address on an order slip, which to be fair, probably only happened because they needed to call me about the order issue and then noticed who I was. Um, and so it's not like creepy or anything. Like it would be strange if you had like an order from someone that you recognize and then decided to just call them because you knew them. That wouldn't be okay, but this was like wonderful. It made my day. Um, I think I was in the middle of vlogging for Hanukkah about it. So I talk about that in there. I was super, super excited. Um, but yeah, so I'm curious what they sent. Okay, and I will say that Dharma stuff does come with packing peanuts, but these are like the starch ones, potato starch, that, so they dissolve in water versus being styrofoam. All right, let's see. Um... Oh, funny. I wonder if this is going to say um, what it, it may say what it is. Okay, so let's see. Um, oh, cute. Because, all right, it looks like I got a Dharma, Dharma Trading Company slotted spoon. That's handy. That's a handy present. What's in here? So I bought new respirators for my mask. Ooh, I've got a measuring cup. Um, this looks like, because there were some things I could see that it may have been a free gift for your first order, um, which like this isn't my first order, but I don't have the slotted spoon or the measuring cup. This is nice. It's, um, okay, I'm not going to be able to show the labels, but it goes up to one cup, but it also has markings um, in milliliters and markings for like down to a quarter cup. Uh, and so like those are both things that will get a lot of use. Now, the, the filters from my respirator mask, that was not free. <laughs> that I bought. Um, but let me see. And um, they gave me some stickers. Well, that's cute. Yeah, I had no idea what they were gonna what they were gonna send. And so this this swag is cute. Um, so some Dharma Trading Company stickers. Dare to be different. Oh, this one's cute. Um, <laughs> a, lot, a lot of, a lot of things. Um, there's also color on fabric, lots of fun stickers. That's so sweet. It was so nice of them to like add this stuff because I feel like 
I missed, like you could get a poster as a free gift with an order at some point. And my poster, I've ordered a couple posters because I cut them up to put those swatches on, um, on my dies. Uh, and so like, so their jars don't come. I have a picture of one that I will throw in. Wait, where is it? Here we go. Um, so over there, you can see like th those little squares, those are things from posters that I have just cut out and glued or taped to the top of my jars, um, which makes it really, really handy. Um, and let's see, what new colors did I get? I got Fire Engine Red, uh, Sea Spray, Brilliant Yellow, and Midnight Blue. So you can uh, take from that what you will <laughs> with regards to Hanukkah. Your daughter likes putting the, oh, I should let my kids do that. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. But anyway, thank you, Dharma, for my swag. Uh, I really, really like it. <laughs> um, a good, I wonder how this one will hold up in water. Does it say? Heat resistant up to um, 410 degrees Fahrenheit. Perfect. That's perfect. Um, and yeah, it has their phone number. I really like I need to get some big plastic things with handles so that I can pour. That's something I need to look for, um, which is a complete digression. Um, but let's talk about Hanukkah. Okay, so there are no longer any of the add-on skeins available, um, but there are still some of both the <laughs> fingering and decay weight sets. Um, there's either for Hanukkah and each of these samplers uh, will come out with nine wraps packages, one for each of the eight nights of Hanukkah and then a bonus one that will either be opened on nights one through eight or night nine of the special. Uh, and there will be a video every night of Hanukkah plus a few beyond showing different yarn dyeing techniques. Uh, and it's just a fun way to celebrate Hanukkah and I enjoy putting together these samplers that have a lot of different techniques, a lot of different types of yarn that would knit or crochet up differently. So that way they can be swatched or played with, used in some kind of scrappy project. Uh, and the whole thing's a lot of fun. And so you can pre-order your sampler now. I have that pinned. Um, and I also restocked my shop with a lot of new yarn, which is not showing up <laughs> what why is it showing up this way uh, there we go I was like wait but my shop shows like new things first um and so we've got a lot of new yarn here that has been featured in past videos or upcoming videos let's see Yes, this is about all everything here. These are all new listings and it includes our Hocus Pocus yarn, but I did not include the term Hocus Pocus anywhere on Etsy. Um, I just called it Sisters and I said it's inspired by a witchy movie uh, because I'm not messing with the mouse, everyone. Um, but ah, ah, I went the wrong way. Um, but I can show we've got uh, the, the Chemnitz Patreon newsletter is going to be going out to uh, patrons very, very shortly along with a video. And so here's a little sneak peek to something that I was working on and an image I showed earlier may show something to do with that as well. Um, we have, we have a lot of witchy yarn from both uh, the Chemnitz Dialogue this month. Um, but also a video that will come out on Friday. Uh, I've restocked Dye Pot Weekly Lab Partner listings. Uh, those have been out of stock for a while, so you can sign up for that. And there's some last minute Lab Partner listings as well. And my little Chemnitz logo, it's in the bag. 
but my Chemnitz logo progress keepers that are see-through, those are back in stock again as well. So it was a pretty big update with loads of yarn and I'm not going to try to get it all out of this bin. Basically after the stream, I'm going to go upstairs and put all these where they go. And then I'm going to start wrapping. I think I'm ready to start wrapping today the uh, Hanukkah yarn. I need to decide if Ooh, I need to decide if I was going to film. I can film that after I've been wrapping it when I'm like, hey, here are the eight nights for the vlog. Um, but it's time to start wrapping them. So that way I can start shipping by the end of next week is the plan. Um, I'm hoping like ne yeah, next week to have started shipping and I'll update on social media when shipping begins. Um, and so, yeah, I, I'm really excited about the whole thing. You wonder about the spoon? Yes, perfect. Yeah, I'm really glad because like if it couldn't be very hot, then that would not be handy because I stir with my tongs a lot, but um, this is nice. It does feel like the Dharma Training Company will rub off, um, but uh, I still appreciate that they, that they gave it to me. Not rub off like on the yarn in any kind of way. It's just the handle, but I don't, I wonder if that's first sale on their website. They do have like a Dharma two-in-one measuring spoon. Curious. Yes, they do. Um, they do have a promo measuring spoon. It is available for purchase on their website. Not, and Dharma, I love you. I buy a, a lot of dyes from you. <laughs> Not that I would necessarily recommend that you go out and buy it, but I thought that it was a thoughtful gift to send. So uh, yeah, but anyway, I'm surprised. Hey, Indy. Indy, come. Hi. And you snuck in in a way that they couldn't see you even after I set up the camera. Why don't you go over there? Sit. No, no, no. Go back. Back, back. I know. I oh, wait. Look at me. Your eye looks all glassy. He's old. Um... Hi, I guess you were asleep and you didn't notice I was streaming. Normally when I stream, he comes over straight away and is doing this. <laughs> oh, you got yourself a fiber advent calendar. Oh, that's fun. Hi, Beth. I'm about to sign off. I unboxed um, Paradise Fibers, Fiber of the Month Club, Knit Crates, um, and then Dharma. And I told a story because Dharma gave me some free swag, which was very kind. Uh, oh, you got a fiber advent calendar. You're... Oh, did you say fiber, not fabric? Fiber advent calendar. That makes more sense. Um, although fabric advent calendar would be pretty fun too. <laughs> Even if I can't read. One of the reasons why I'm going to the eye doctor <laughs> uh, to see what's going on. But thankfully the eye that is behaving oddly is um, not my dominant eye, but sometimes I'm like, why can't I see? Um, but anyway, I'm gonna head out because I have lots to do today. Oh wait. Um, oh yes, yes, I did say that you could interview me. Um, <laughs> no worries. I was like, oh no, did I miss something? But yeah, feel free to send me another message about that for sure. <laughs> because sometimes I can be scatterbrained <laughs> and lose track of things myself. Like I'll start, I'll write and start writing an email, get distracted and realize that I never sent it like a week later, uh, which happened with uh, someone, it was an important email that I probably should have sent, uh, cause someone asked my opinion on something. I'm assuming it'll go well. I'm hoping that worst case scenario, I need glasses. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> uh, best case scenario, I need just like a steroid eye drop or something. Um, cause like I had like, yeah, hopefully nothing is permanent. And if it is like the the blurriness is minor enough that glasses should correct it or I can deal with it if I need to. Um, so yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, actually it was a live stream. That was one of the things I realized. Cause I'm like, why am I having so much trouble reading what's on my computer screen? And then like I checked and that's when I noticed I'm like, Oh, 
Like something that was like a minor issue that was fixed, like didn't go away. So, um, fingers crossed, but this is why, uh, eye protection is always important. I mean, this isn't related to dyeing yarn in any kind of way. It's like a medical thing, but I guess it's a great time to plug, uh, wearing safety glasses when you're doing anything because you always want to protect your eyes. So, but again, this is not a dye related injury of any kind. It was like, yeah, a whole other, whole other long story. But anyway, uh, yeah, but apparently it's going to take forever. The appointment's really, really long. So in, I guess in case they have to do like tests or something. So yeah, cross your fingers for me. <laughs> All right, everyone. Um, oh, today's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. Yes. Okay. New Dye Pot Weekly tomorrow and there'll be a new Dye Pot PS for everyone on Saturday. Uh, so that is that plan. You've been wearing glasses since you were nine. Um, I mean, I got glasses, uh, I was going to go, but I got glass, I've had glasses twice. I got them once in high school. It's mostly just astigmatism. And then I kind of stopped wearing them. I got them again in my mid twenties. Again, very minor correction. It was around when I was starting the chronic fatigue stuff. And so the first thing that felt like my eyes weren't processing things well. And I think that that's a symptom of my fatigue being really bad. And so again, the minor correction from the glasses, which like I don't require them to drive or anything, that minor correction wasn't useful enough to wear them <laughs> often. So I have not had an updated prescription in well over a decade. Um, and so it's possible that I just need glasses. And so we might discover that like, oh, my vision overall is a little bit worse or, but there's definitely a difference between my eyes right now. Yes, take care of your eyes, take care of your health, uh, all that <laughs> Um, But yeah, anyway, um, <laughs> I will talk with all of you soon. Uh, tomorrow's video is fun. Uh, I can't wait for you to see it. Um, yeah, so thank you all so much for watching. Oh yeah, subscribe. <laughs> Bye everyone.